Mr. Eckhout. Yeah, thank you. Um, to be honest, this is a very disappointing round because you're not giving any true answer, and that is really a problem. And I will be very precise to show where you're not giving the truth. In our written question, was the Commission already aware of temperature sensing software that reduces the efficiency of emission reduction systems in cars? You answer no. Now I go to the famous letter of Mr. Falkenberg, 2014, where he's saying that of certain current practices documented extensively by the JRC and others, that certain manufacturers deploy emission abatement techniques that are switched off at low temperatures. That is very clearly that already in 2014 there is a reference to information that was known very well around these techniques. In your written answer you say we were not aware. That is a lie. Or how can I elsewhere read that? And Mrs. this letter of Mr. Falkenberg is about diesel cars, very clearly. So don't give us false information because that is really a problem. How can I read this different than that here? Mr. Falkenberg is making the point that there are strategies with software to reduce the techniques, abatement techniques. Maybe we should get a clear answer to that because that, it, no, 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 I give, I already give all the others lengthy of time because I think it's a, it's a crucial, it is crucial the difference between the letter of Mr. Falkenberg and, and, and answers given by you and other representatives of the Commission to that crucial question. Yeah, I mean, I can't, of course, call back my memories because uh, I took off. Yeah. But uh, the, the, the thing is that at that time, the focus on the work of the Commission services was and had been and was to work on the development of the RDE test. Because basically, uh, the priority has been to have a test that functions. Uh, with, in the absence of evidence, because I mean, there are what you mentioned, and I haven't seen that letter, but what you mentioned is basically the fact that there are suspicions so on, but there is no evidence of a case. Exactly, but then the continuation of the letter, mm -hmm. it's asking to DG Enterprise mm -hmm. to should investigate the regularity of certain current practices, and then he's coming to this. You should investigate it. Mm -hmm. That was a question. The reply of DG Enterprise did not answer that at all. So every time when you say there was no concrete proof, it's because you did not put forward an investigation that was asked for. I mean, at that time, the priority was to develop the RDE test procedure. And as, and as, and as I mentioned, as I was mentioned earlier on, uh, I mean, the Commission needs some evidence to act. There was also that recall. Therefore, you are asked market. to do an investigation. Then you can get the evidence. Isn't that the idea of an investigation? Well, the answer is given. Um, there was no priority. The priority was the RDE. Huh? But yes, then please give that as an answer and yes. don't say there was no proof because you didn't look for it. Since we were asked to be precise, I'll be very precise because you seem to allege that I misquoted or I gave you wrong explanation. Actually, the article in The Guardian wrongly quotes the report while it actually quotes I'm the talking about the Falkenberg letter. I'm sorry, because you said I gave you wrong explanation referring to Falkenberg letter. I gave my explanation because that was the question regarding the Guardian article. And the Guardian article makes reference to the minutes and exactly what I explained concerns this specific passage. So this is not about Falkenberg letter. So let's be precise indeed. Okay, if we just want to be precise anyhow, can you then explain me your answer to question number eight? Just to show you another thing that not only you're not precise in answering questions on the investigation, yes or not, you don't even seem to understand your own law. Because in the law, 
it is saying that the manufacturer shall equip vehicles so that the comp components likely to affect emissions are designed, constructed and assembled so as to enable the vehicle in normal use to comply with this regulation and its implementing measures. That's the key Article 5 of the Euro 6 regulation. So it has, the cars need to comply in normal use. Then I go to your question of, on our, our question, your answer to our question 8. You say, since the type approval framework with both the Commission and the National Authority of the Member States are implementing and ensuring compliance with requires the NOx limits to be met in the laboratory tests set out in union law. The law says it needs to comply in normal use. Can you explain me where in the law it is said that it needs to be met in laboratory tests? I checked the law. It's mentioned nowhere. So could you please explain how you are completely changing the letter of the law, written answers to this inquiry committee. Sure, I will answer your question. Just. Um, so, as you rightly say, Regulation 2007-715 makes reference to normal conditions of use. However, the limits are, not, are set against a specific test procedure because the same regulation obliges the Commission to develop test procedures to test various elements, emissions being one of them. So this is that makes the Commission adopt test procedures that would allow to measure emissions from the cars and the test procedure that has been adopted respectively before has been laboratory procedure. And therefore, you are right that in terms of, you can say maybe this is not ideal if you have a test procedure with laboratory procedure prescribed by law. And nevertheless, there is an obligation to comply with the limits and then cars do not fulfill fully this requirement but you cannot also make a case against either regulator or a manufacturer for that matter that he complies with the tests that are actually prescribed by law. So I think there's a fundamental difference because once again we have limits, we have normal conditions of use, we have empowerment to adopt test procedure. In the past, the binding test procedure was laboratory test procedure to measure pollutant emittance and OX among them. Now, with RDE, we have changed this procedure, exactly exercising the same empowerment, because I believe Article 14 empowers us or mandates the Commission to look into this procedure. So we have changed this procedure. So there is absolutely no contradiction in what you say. According to the letter of law, we are using, or manufacturers, we are using the test procedures that was adopted accordingly to the given empowerment. Just, Pass. Yeah, just to conclude very briefly. I think we need another round with these people, but only after we've seen all your emails with JSC and other important institutions, because until now we haven't mm. gotten them, well, and before we can really have a good interchange of, of, of explanation. Mr. Eck, it will take that up get. in the coordinators, but maybe it's also re relevant to see the political responsibilities um, in here.